We're seeing a world where AI isn't just a tool anymore. It's the foundation of modern business. Companies like Microsoft and Google are embedding AI into everything they touch. For consumers and businesses, this competition means faster innovation, lower costs, and more accessible AI. But it also raises critical questions. Welcome to Beyond the Byte, the podcast that breaks down complex tech trends into stories that matter. I'm your host, Mo Hafez, and today we're diving into the intensifying AI arms race. Amazon has made some major moves recently, shaking up the competition in ways no one can ignore. But how does it stack up against the other big players in the field? Let's break it down. Last week, Amazon made waves at AWS reInvent with a series of announcements that signal its full force entry into the AI race. This isn't just about catching up to competitors. It's about dominating the field. Here's a rundown of the announcements. Firstly, they've launched six new foundation models designed to rival top tier large language models like OpenAI's GPT-4, but at 75% less cost. They've also introduced the next generation of AI chips, Tranium 2 that promises four times the performance at half the cost of NVIDIA's chips. And yes, Tranium 3 is already in development. Then there's Project Rainier, an AI supercomputer set to become one of the largest distributed compute clusters in the world, aiming for five times the power of current systems. And finally, their $8 billion partnership with Anthropic secures Amazon as the cloud provider for Claude and gives AWS customers access to cutting-edge AI tech. These moves show Amazon isn't just dabbling in AI. It's building an entire ecosystem that rivals and arguably surpasses what the others are doing. So who else is in the game? Amazon's ambitions are impressive, but they're not the only player in this game. Let's talk about the other giants shaping the AI landscape. Firstly, there's Microsoft. Now, Microsoft is a powerhouse thanks to its multi-billion dollar partnership with OpenAI. ChatGPT, Dolly, Codex, you name it. Microsoft's integration of these tools into products like Office 365 and Azure gives them a massive edge in enterprise AI solution. Then there's Google, which has been a trailblazer in AI with TensorFlow, DeepMind, and Google's Vertex AI. Their latest model, Gemini, is pushing the envelope in natural language understanding and multimodal AI. Meta, formerly Facebook, is betting big on open source with its Llama models positioning itself as the champion of accessible AI. Their focus on open collaboration is a stark contrast to the walled garden approach of the others, and it's gaining traction in the developer community. Then there's NVIDIA. Now, while NVIDIA is not a cloud provider, NVIDIA is the backbone of AI hardware, powering the majority of AI research and deployments worldwide. Amazon's new chips, though, may challenge their dominance, but NVIDIA's market share and innovation pipeline remains quite formidable. Let's not forget that in Asia, there is Alibaba, which is leading with AI-powered solutions for e-commerce, urban planning, and enterprise tools, and making waves in markets Western companies often overlook. So while Amazon is making bold moves, it is stepping into an arena filled with seasoned players with their own competitive edges. Now, what does this mean for the industry? Here's why this matters. Amazon isn't just building better chips or faster supercomputers. It's creating a vertically integrated ecosystem. They're controlling the hardware, the compute power, the models, and the customer base. That's a game changer. But with competition this fierce, what does the future hold? We're seeing a world where AI isn't just a tool anymore. It's the foundation of modern business. Companies like Microsoft and Google are embedding AI into everything they touch. NVIDIA is making the hardware that the industry runs on. And Meta's open source approach could democratize access to this cutting edge tech. For consumers and businesses, this competition means faster innovation, lower costs, and more accessible AI. But it also raises critical questions about ethics, monopolies, and the responsible use of this powerful technology. And that's a conversation that we're going to keep having right here on Beyond the Bike. So is Amazon the new king of AI? It's too soon to tell. But one thing is clear, they're playing to win, and the rest of the industry will have to respond. The AI race isn't just about who has the fastest chips or the most advanced models. It's about who can build ecosystems that drive value, empower innovation, and tackle the biggest challenges of our time. As always, I want to hear from you. What do you think of Amazon's moves? Can they outpace Microsoft, Google, and the rest? Share your thoughts in the comments or on our social media. Thank you for listening to Beyond the Byte. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a review, and as always, stay curious. 